Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're all keeping well and have been able to enjoy the, the good weather uh, over the past few days. Uh, I want to read a few verses for you today from Ephesians chapter 1. We read these words, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, to the saints who are in Ephesus and are faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, even as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him. In love he predestined us for adoption to himself, as sons through Jesus Christ according to the purpose of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace, with which he has blessed us, in the beloved in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight making known to us the mystery of his will according to his purpose which he has set forth in christ as a plan for the fullness of time to unite all things in him things in heaven and things on earth in him we have obtained an inheritance, having been predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, so that we who were the first to hope in Christ might be to the praise of his glory. In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until we acquire possession of it, to the praise of his glory. Uh, these verses in Ephesians remind us uh, of the many ways in which God has blessed us through bringing us into the fellowship with himself through faith in his son Jesus. Uh, through our union with Jesus Christ, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. Uh, sometimes we can think of, of God as, uh, as being stingy or of him is holding out on us. Yet these verses remind us just how good and how generous God has been towards us. Uh, these verses remind us that uh, through faith in Jesus, we are blessed with every spiritual blessing. Uh, uh, through faith in Jesus, we are chosen by God before the foundation of the world. We are called to be holy and blameless in his sight. We are adopted into the family of God. Uh, we know redemption through the blood of Jesus. We know forgiveness for our sins. God has made known to us the mystery of his will. And God has given us his Holy Spirit. He has deposited his Holy Spirit within us as a guarantee of our future inheritance. Whenever we're making a purchase whenever we're buying something if we put down a deposit then we're saying that we're committed to making that purchase the bigger the deposit we put down the, the more committed we are to following through with the purchase and God demonstrates his own commitment towards us uh, by sealing us with his Holy Spirit by putting his Holy Spirit within us as a deposit guaranteeing our future inheritance with him in heaven one day we will be with God in heaven. He will be our God and we will be his people. There we will know no more pain, no more suffering, no more sickness, no more illness, no more death. But here on earth we're called to, to live by faith and not by sight. We're called to look up and to look forward to that future inheritance that awaits us. On this earth we will face trials and we'll face trouble. There will be days when it will feel like a struggle. But we can know that we are never alone. God is with us because he lives in us by his Holy Spirit. And God will ensure that we reach our future destination. That is how much God has blessed us as Christians. And if you're here today and you're not a Christian... How can you know this blessing for yourself? Uh, we're told in, in verse 13 uh, that we, we receive this blessing by 
by hearing the word of truth, the gospel of our salvation, and by believing in it, by hearing the words that, that Jesus died for our sins, and by repenting and turning to Jesus, we too can know these spiritual blessings for ourselves. So today, if you don't know Jesus, would you turn to him? Would you entrust your life to him? And would you know these, these blessings from above being lavished upon you? God is good. God is generous. And he loves each of us today. He loves to bless us. Will you allow him to bless you today?